They say airplanes are safer than cars, and you have more chances of getting hit by lightning than being in a plane crash. But is that really the case? Are planes really that safe? This video might prove that wrong. From the biggest mystery in human history to a plane reappearing decades later like by magic, here are 15 of the world's biggest aviation mysteries. Number 15. Airplane losing its roof at 24,000 feet. The roof of an Aloha Airlines plane ripped off mid-flight. It happened on April 28, 1988. The Boeing 737 lost an entire section of its roof when it was at 24,000 feet high in the air. The plane was in between Hilo and Honolulu in Hawaii when the incident happened. The Flight 234 tragically lost an 18-foot section of the plane's roof while it was full of passengers. The roof cracked, causing an explosive decompression that sucked a flight attendant out of the plane. Over 60 of the 89 passengers aboard suffered very serious injuries from which eight were in critical condition. The body of the 58-year-old flight attendant was never found. But incredibly, the Boeing 737 managed to land safely at Kahului Airport in Maui. Given the nature of the accident, it's a miracle that there weren't many more casualties. The investigation later revealed that the tragedy might have been caused by the old age of the plane and the poor maintenance it received. After inspection of the other aircrafts, it was discovered that all of them at Aloha Airlines had exterior issues, and two were even sent to scrap, and for obvious reasons, so was the one from Flight 234. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Santiago Flight 513. The Santiago Flight 513 is one of the most bizarre stories out there of a supernatural nature. Basically, Flight 513 took off on September 4, 1954 from Aachen, West Germany, and was scheduled to land in Porto Alegre, Brazil exactly 18 hours later. But something happened in the air, something that scientists have tried to figure out for decades without being able to come up with an explanation. The plane disappeared. Literally. The airplane was mid-flight over the Atlantic Ocean and then it just disappeared into thin air. For the longest time, they thought that it crashed into the waters, but when it didn't show up in any radar, many parties were sent out to look for the plane. All in vain. But the story doesn't end there. If possible, it gets even more creepy and weird. After a while, the search was called off and eventually the Santiago Airlines ran out of business. But on October 12, 1989, an unauthorized plane was trying to land in the Porto Alegre Airport in Brazil. The control tower tried to communicate with the pilot of that plane, but without response. The plane landed perfectly. It was the Santiago Flight 513, and what they found inside will chill you to the core. They found 92 perfectly preserved skeletons still buckled into their seats. The pilot's skeleton still had his hands on the controls. Number 13. Malaysia Airline Flight 370. On March 8, 2014, Malaysia Flight 370 was a scheduled international flight and the plane getting ready to take off with the destination of Beijing, China. It had 227 passengers on board and 10 flight attendants. It took off without any issue, but when the plane was mid-flight, the young pilot aboard started making unusual transmissions to the control tower. After a while, the transmissions stopped altogether, even if center control was trying to communicate with them. Last transmission clocked at 38 minutes after takeoff. At this point, the plane was over Vietnam. The plane was never heard of or seen ever again. The computers show that the plane tried to do a U-turn over Kuala Lumpur and strangely rerouted several times, making no sense as to what the initial route was supposed to be. It kept going around in circles and ascending and descending without any apparent reason for it, and eventually the plane disappeared 
forever. The disappearance of Flight 370 is the deadliest accident ever involving a Boeing 777, and there are no evidence at all to try to understand what happened. The tragedy involved the loss of hundreds of people from all over the world, and it remains one of the biggest mysteries to this day. Number 12. Flight 19 Wednesday, the 5th of December, 1945, five torpedo bombers set out to go on a routine patrol over the Bahamas. They took off at exactly 2.10 p.m. from the Naval Air Station of Fort Lauderdale in Florida. They were instructed to do a training flight and go back to base. But at exactly 3.40 p.m., the first signs of trouble start to manifest. One of the pilots sent out a radio message about his feelings of discomfort and disorientation. Another plane was flying somewhat nearby the five bombers and received a distress call that he couldn't quite pin down to any location. The call was that of a desperate airman asking for a position check. We must have gotten lost on that last turn. After a while, the transmission stopped and no one would hear or see the 14 airmen and their aircrafts ever again. This is the incident that sparked a series of aircraft disappearances over the same area, which later came to be known as the Bermuda Triangle. The Bermuda Triangle is an area of over half a million square miles, and it would appear that anyone that flies over it disappears inexplicably and forever. And nobody to this day has been capable of offering a satisfactory explanation as to why this happens. Number 11. Flying Tiger Line Flight 739 Flight 739 was scheduled with two flight crews, four cabin crews, and 96 passengers. But these were not your ordinary passengers, they were jungle-trained army rangers. Basically, highly trained soldiers specializing in electronics and communication. The only civilians aboard were the cabin crews. The Tiger flight departed Travis Air Force Base on the 14th of March 1962 and was supposed to land in Saigon, Vietnam after several stops for refueling and maintenance. The first three stops went by without any issues at all, but after the last takeoff from Guam, things started to be a mess. The plane disappeared into thin air without any trace. All 107 people on board were declared missing and presumed dead. A U.S. military search party was deployed, and they searched more than 200,000 square miles, making it the largest air and sea search in the history of the Pacific. But it was all in vain. The aircraft was never recovered. It was speculated that the plane exploded mid-air, but there's no way of knowing for sure. It's very strange, given the training of the passengers aboard, that there could have been anything wrong with the aircraft without 96 engineers not noticing. It remains still to this day one of the biggest air-related mysteries of all time. Number 10. Japan Airline Flight 1628 on November 17, 1986, Japan Airlines Flight 1628 was flying from Reykjavik, Iceland to Anchorage, Alaska. Just after 5 p.m., as the flight was cruising at 35,000 feet, the captain aboard notices two aircraft to his left and about 2,000 feet below the plane. He reportedly assumed the two aircraft to be military because of the velocity and precision of the way they were flying. the two UFOs had red lights at each side. Nothing like it had ever been seen before. But when, at exactly 5.19 p.m., the two unidentified objects rapidly veer in front of the plane is when the captain notices that they were producing heat and he could feel it from inside the cockpit of his plane. The captain then contacted Control to ask if they could pick up any traffic near him. The answer was no. The two UFOs kept flying in front of the plane for a long time, and still no answer as to what they were or where they came from. Finally, at 5.23 p.m., the two aircraft flew into the horizon, never to be seen again. This incident has sparked a lot of confusion worldwide because still, to this day, nobody knows what to make of it. Do you? Number 9. Pakistan International Flight 404 Pakistan International Airlines Flight 404 was a Fokker F-27 that vanished into thin air shortly after takeoff on August 25, 1989. It was a local flight and was scheduled to depart from Gilgit and land in Islamabad, but the plane never made it to its destination. 
The plane had on board 52 passengers, 5 crew members, and 49 civilians. Soon after takeoff, the pilot sent out a routine radio call at 740, and that was the last time anyone has ever heard from them again. Although it's believed that it crashed into the Himalayas, some people speculate there were supernatural forces at play because even after several search parties, no trace of the craft has ever been found. Another theory is that the aircraft was downed by India's army near the line of control. In that case, it will be logical that no evidence was ever recovered. This tragedy shook the country of Pakistan to its core, and up to this date, they never forgot what happened. All 52 passengers were declared dead and assumed dead after the search parties found nothing. Number 8. Varig Flight 967 Varig Flight 967 was an international cargo flight that was scheduled to depart from Narita International Airport in Japan to Rio de Janeiro Jaleo International Airport in Brazil. It was scheduled to make a stopover in Los Angeles International Airport for refueling and maintenance but the plane disappeared on the 30th of January, 1979. Neither the aircraft nor the six crew members were ever found. It became one of the greatest mysteries of Brazilian aviation. The aircraft involved was a Boeing 707-323C, and all the crew members were highly trained and experienced professionals, and in particular, the captain, Gilberto Araujo de Silva, was considered a hero when he crash-landed a plane near Orly Airport in Brazil, saving everyone aboard from certain death. The flight still had 123 fatalities, but it could have been extremely worse. The cargo plane was carrying two paintings of the celebrated artist Manabu Mabe, valued at over 1.24 million US dollars. And that has been the cause of speculation that the aircraft was abducted by art collectors. But in reality, the wreckage has never been found, and the strongest possibility is that it crashed into the Pacific Ocean some 30 minutes after takeoff, but we'll never know for sure. Number 7. Boeing 727 Disappearance This Boeing belonged to a man residing in Florida, and because of the shortage of fuel in Angola at the time due to the political turbulences, the only way of importing fuel was by plane. So some Angolan officials decided to purchase said plane at a cost of 1 million US dollars, with an upfront payment of 250,000 US dollars. Although, every time the plane was set to depart from Florida and fly towards Angola, the American pilots would experience terrifying and traumatizing experiences, and they all flew back without finishing their mission. Eventually, the owner decided to hire an all-Angolan crew, and the plane made it to its destination. Except, the deal was for the plane to go back and forth from the US to Angola to supply the war-riddled country with fuel, but the pilots disappeared. And so, the plane was abandoned at the airport for months on end, getting less and less suited to fly and accumulating fines. So eventually, the still American owner of the plane, who, by the way, never got all of his money, decided to hire someone to go get the aircraft. It took months to bring it back to flying shape, and there was a new client lined up in South Africa when the plane suddenly took off the airport without permission, and it was never seen again. Number 6. The Uberlingen Mid-Air Collision during the night of the 1st of July 2002, two commercial aircraft collided over the German town of Überlingen. The accident involved a Tupolev Tu-154 passenger jet and a Boeing 757 cargo jet. All 69 passengers and crew members aboard the Tupolev and the two members aboard the Boeing were killed instantly at the moment of the accident. Apparently, the reason that caused the tragedy was a number of shortcomings on the part of the Swiss air traffic controller, as well as ambivalence regarding the collision avoidance system of both aircraft. That means that both control tower and the equipment on board didn't do their jobs correctly. A year and a half later, Peter Nielsen was murdered in an apparent act of revenge for the accident by a man who had lost his wife and two children in the incident. The accident itself occurred at 36,000 feet, and despite being in German territory, the aircraft were controlled by the Zurich control tower. The collision happened in such a way that all of the passengers would have seen the other plane coming, 
thus the tragic and horrible nature of the accident. The accident sparked international outrage, and it was the start point of several new regulations mandatory worldwide. Number 5. Lancastrian Stardust Accident on the 2nd of August 1947, the Stardust, a British South American Airways flight from Buenos Aires, Argentina to Santiago, Chile, crashed into Mount Tupungato on the Argentinian side of the Andes mountain range. An incredibly large search operation was set in motion to try to locate the wreckage, but nobody would have any news about the aircraft and its passengers until 50 years later. During those five decades of uncertainty, several conspiracy theories sparked across the globe, looking for an explanation. But in the late 1990s, finally, some pieces of the wreckage emerged after the glacial ice began to melt. It is now believed that the pilots became confused at such high altitudes, and they thought to be out of the mountaintop's range when, in reality, they weren't. Today, the jet stream of that part of the world is vastly better understood, so tragedies like this one will be prevented as much as possible. Although, there's still a mystery to solve, and that is the one of the last transmission that was received from the aircraft minutes before impact, S-T-E-N-D-E-C. The Morse code transmission was repeated twice and has never been fully understood. Number 4. Flight 441 Flight 441 was a commercial New Zealand National Airways Corporation flight that was scheduled on the 3rd of July 1963 at 9.09 a.m. It was to depart from Wenuapi, Auckland to Tuaranga, but the plane never made it to its destination. It's believed they flew into a vertical rock face in the Kai Mai Ranges at an altitude of 2,460 feet. There were 23 people on board, and of those, 22 died instantly. Evidence shows that the 23rd passenger survived the crash, but died afterwards because he found himself stranded in a very unhospitable area. It's not known how long he managed to live. There were three other passengers that were supposed to be on that flight, but they reportedly changed their plans at the last minute and didn't board the plane. Because of the remote location and difficult access of the wreckage, the remains of the plane and of the passengers were not recovered until one year later in 1964. This is a true horror story, and since several laws of air traffic have changed to prevent such accidents from occurring in the future. Number 3. Flight 980 International Flight 980 crashed seconds before it would have begun descent to land. It was an Eastern Airlines flight, and it was scheduled to depart from Asuncion, Paraguay to Miami, Florida on the 1st of January, 1985. It was getting ready to descend towards La Paz, Bolivia for a routine stopover when the Boeing 727 crashed into Mount Illimani, killing all 29 people on board. The crash happened at 19,600 feet in altitude, and the wreckage was scattered all over a very large glacier area. There has been many search expeditions over the decades, but they were only able to find very small pieces of the wreckage. The famous accident remains to date the highest altitude collision with terrain in history. Although very little is known of the reasons of the crash, given that the debris have been moving along with the ice, so it's virtually impossible to recuperate them at this point, and without that, there is no evidence as to support any kind of theory. It was a terrible tragedy, and people around the world are still puzzled as to what happened. Number 2. Indian Air Force An-32 An Indian Air Force An-32 went missing 30 minutes after it took off. The wreckage was spotted eight days later at an elevation of 1,200 feet in Arunachal, officials say. The jet was carrying 13 passengers when it went missing. However, there was no statement issued about what happened to them. It was one of the biggest search operations in Indian history due to the military origin of the aircraft. They deployed 30 aircraft, 32 planes, and 17 helicopters to try to rescue any possible survivors. However, there has never been concrete evidence as to what happened to cause the crash. Even after international inquiries and the pressure of the victim's family members, no answers were forthcoming. This is the reason that many people started conjecturing on their own, thus creating many different 
conspiracy theories about the military keeping information from the public. But to this day, there has not been an official statement, and nobody really knows what could have happened to cause such an aerial tragedy. Sadly, accidents like this one often occur without any kind of explanation, making the loss of human life even more hurtful. Number 1. Egyptian Flight 990 this is an aerial accident riddled with political dispute and international clash. Two years after the crash, both the American and Egyptian governments are still in quarrel over what happened. Flight 990 was a regularly scheduled flight from Los Angeles International Airport to Cairo International Airport. On Halloween Day 1999, it crashed into the Atlantic Ocean, killing all 217 passengers and the onboard crew. But since the tragedy occurred in international waters, it resulted in a blame game that lasted for decades to come. The Americans blamed the Egyptians, and vice versa. At the end of the day, nobody knows what really happened. The plane was named Tuthmosis III after an Egyptian pharaoh from the 18th dynasty, which makes you think that the pharaoh's curses go beyond their sepultures. The passengers were mainly of American or Egyptian nationalities. This tragedy remains an international mystery, and until the two countries decide to cooperate on it, we'll probably never know what exactly happened that day. One thing is certain, the incident did not help the tumultuous relationship between the two countries. As you can see, planes are not as safe as they say. And they not only crash all the time, they disappear too. I don't know about you, but I'm not gonna take a plane in a long time. Are you still brave enough to fly? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!